As promised, I'm going to go back and show you how to get all 32 of these answers. So if you have not yet watched my Introduction to Limits video, please do that now. At the very end of that video, I show you this graph. I tell you to pause it, complete all 32, and then I just simply put the answers up on the, on the screen. Now I'm going to uh, go through each one, explain it in detail. Uh, when we're talking about limits, again, we're talking about sort of the y value that the function approaches as the x value approaches something. So uh, let's start with number one. It says the limit of the function as x approaches one, and then there's like this little plus sign. Well, that means from the right-hand side. This is a right-hand limit, a right-handed limit. So one, positive one on my x-axis, let's say we're going to assume that these are all 1, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. So as x approaches 1 from the right, as x approaches 1 from the right, I need to find my graph. So if this is 1, my graph is right up here. As it approaches 1 from the right, it comes in this way. The, x, the y value that that approaches is right here, positive 2. So as the x value comes in from the right, it approaches 1 from the right, the y value gets closer and closer to 2. Let's do the same thing for 1 from the left. So we come in this way. Again, we're thinking about this sort of imaginary line. As x approaches that imaginary line, where does the graph approach? Well, the graph approaches positive 2 again. Okay. So that's kind of interesting. We have ourselves a new question as x approaches 1 more generally from the left and the right. And if these two match up, then the overall limit is the same. If they don't match up, then the overall limit does not exist. Number four, what's the actual function value when x is 1? Well, when x is 1, the function does not exist right there because it exists down here. So when x is 1, y is negative 1. So you got to look for that dot. So the answer is negative 1. All right, let's move on. Let's move on to positive 2. So on my x-axis here is positive 2. From the right-hand side, find the graph. It comes in this way. What y value is that? That's negative 3. As x approaches positive 2 from the left-hand side, it's this way. The y value is positive 2. They don't match up, so the overall limit does not exist. All right? And visually, what, what we're looking at visually here, as we come in from the left and from the right, if these, line, if these arrows sort of don't match up and they don't come together, they don't meet, then the limit does not exist, the overall limit. The function value at 2, we're looking for the closed dot at positive 2. So go up and down until you see the closed dot. It's not there, it's not here, but it's all the way up here at 2, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 2, 8. So our function value when x is 2 is 8. Okay. Moving on, so far so good. Let's go to negative two from the right. This is negative two right here on the x-axis. So when x is negative two from the right-hand side, you find the graph and come in that way. The y value approaches positive two. Negative two from the left, follow the graph. All right, again, we're thinking about this sort of as like a barrier or a wall. As the graph approaches that wall from the left-hand side, the y value is way up here, 1, 2, 3, 4. And again, these don't meet. The one-sided limits don't meet, so the overall limit does not exist. The function value at negative 2 is the closed dot at negative 2. This is open, and this is closed. So that's your function value at positive 4. Moving on. Moving on to 
positive six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we're t dealing with this closed or this open dot here. From the right hand side, the graph approaches the x axis or zero. From the left hand side, again, this is kind of like a barrier or a wall. As the graph approaches that wall from the left, it's down here. That y value is, let's see, one, two, three, four, negative five. The overall limit does not exist because the two one-sided limits are not equal to each other. The function value, the function value is the closed dot. When x is six, y is down here at negative five. Let's go to eight. Eight is right here. This is positive eight. From the right-hand side, well, we can see that we have an asymptote. So from the right-hand side, it's approaching positive infinity. From the left-hand side, it's approaching positive infinity. So that means the overall limit is positive infinity. The function value at eight, well, asymptotes don't exist. The functions don't exist at asymptotes. Moving on, we're going over to negative five. Negative five is, let's see, one, two, three, four. It's right here. This is negative five. So from the right-hand side, it comes in this way. That y value is positive one. From the left-hand side, it comes in this way. That y value is positive three. Which means, since they're not the same, the overall limit does not exist. The function value at negative five is the closed dot at negative five. One, two, three. So hopefully you're getting the hang of this. You might want to try the uh, remaining seven or eight problems here on your own. We're jumping over to negative six. So it's one, two, three, four, five, s negative six. So we're dealing with like this sort of imaginary wall. As the graph approaches that from the right hand side, the y value approaches this point. Well, that y value is one, two, three, four. From the left hand side, the graph is down here, negative one. You're always looking for the y value that the graph approaches as the x value approaches this little value here. All right, since they're not the same, since the two one side limits are not the same, the overall limit does not exist. The function value at negative six is the closed dot at negative six, negative one. Almost done. Moving on to negative eight. Well, that's over here. This is negative eight. You can see that we have an asymptote, a vertical asymptote at negative eight. So from the right-hand side, it approaches negative infinity. On the left-hand side, the graph approaches positive infinity. And it looks like they don't meet each other, so the overall limit does not exist. The function value there, of course, does not exist either. Asymptotes, the function does not exist. All right, so there you go. All your answers explained. Hopefully that made some sense to you. Uh, we're going to go through a couple more videos over the next... Uh, I might do them all today, actually. I'm not sure. Uh, but I'll definitely try to get them done uh, sometime this week that really kind of dive into limits algebraically, and, and then we'll move in from there to uh, continuity and then more about derivatives and stuff. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.